you know, on the one hand, it is great to reopen these relationships. On the other hand, I worry about American tourists and the ways that we can sometimes be a plague on the rest of the world, particularly in these nations that become high tourist economies. And I'm wondering if there is a downside to our economic ties opening up with Cuba, for Cuba. Well, I, you know, for me, I, I, let me take the opposite position okay. here, which is that I, I think we, we have to stop fetishizing hmm. um, the, hmm. the, the Cuba, purity. The Cuba wow. of, you know, old cars mm -hmm. and rundown architecture, Cubans are entitled to a good standard of living. Mm -hmm. And that may mean having a Home Depot uh, in Cuba, right? Um, and I think we need to respect that. So I, I, before we worry so much about whether or not the, uh, the arrival of American capitalism mm -hmm. uh, changes something in Cuba, I think we need to recognize that Cubans have for 50 years been denied many of the ba basics of modern life. I, right? I I, I really, I do, I hear you, but there's still this kind of cultural hegemony clash that I can, that, that can exist. Well, first of all, 